What's up everybody, Josh here with Nippon Imports and today we're going to be looking at a 1989 Toyota Crown Royal Saloon G. Uh, this is the V8 equipped UZS 131. Uh, currently the car sits at about 50,000 miles. I'll go inside and get a uh, for sure odometer reading here in a second so this one is pretty special um, I've had a UZS 131 before just to do a quick, quick walk around here um, these are my favorite crowns as this was the first model to have the UZS uh, the one UZ I should say V8 which is a uh, definitely a personal favorite engine of mine that Toyota built. It is super reliable and I mean you just can't break them. So this vehicle is a was a grade 4 and it is a verified one owner comes with the original maintenance books and uh, user manuals. Color is pearl white with a pearl white with a gray two tone, and it looks pretty good. Now, my previous model that I had was a black two-tone and it had the fender mirrors which I would prefer that color uh, but I got this one just because it has just an incredible history on it and of course a one owner is very hard to turn down so real quick let's go around and kind of point out some of the uh, flaws on the body there's very few of them um, all right, you got yourself a, uh, it's kind of hard to see, um, a very slight scuff right here. Um, it has been touched up, so unless you are looking for it, you won't see it. Um, another scuff right here, very, very slight. I got a feeling that the pearl is not going to show up on the pictures as I hoped, but I'll try to get a close-up of it. Um, you got a couple of uh, just really slight scuffs here. And uh, let me do a side shot here. This is the top of the line, mo top of the line model. Uh, this was, if you were to go to Toyota and get the crown at, with all the bells and whistles, this is it. So let me pop the hood. The engine is running. All right. So all the fluids are good. Um, the coolant has the appropriate Toyota red, as you can see there. No leaks, no seepage. Uh, this thing runs incredibly smooth. Uh, AC has been converted. AC has been converted as well, and it blows ice cold. 
Um, there is an old school radar detector that has been unplugged. Completely obsolete now as the frequencies are totally different. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. See if I can get this pearl to show up on this uh, camera here. Um, there you go. It is really a um, a beautiful pearl. Um, it shines <laughs> very well. Um, it's not like a uh, overly pearl, but it's just right. If that kind of makes sense. Um, Unless you kind of get closer to the car and start looking at it, then you're, you'll look at it and you'll see, wow, this is a pearl. It's, and it's very nice. Let's check out the front bumper here. Uh, it does have the front and rear light up um, Japanese license plates. So in Japan, you have the option to have kind of like a transparent or it's uh, transparent enough to where light shines through it. And your tag numbers will shine or light up with the backlight right there. Uh, no scuffs, uh, really no rock chips. Um, these are your headlights, these are your fog lights, those light up yellow. Which is really cool, you can still ri you can ride around just with the fog lights on. Uh, some of the newer cars, they won't let you just turn on the fog lights. Um, your uh, markers here, they are working. Vehicle still has uh, good bridge stones. The only thing I had to do to this car when it came in was a um, we had to replace the alternator. Here's the uh, the crown C pillar emblem. Now I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, and I highly doubt it. But as you turn on this thing, it has like this really you can almost see it right here. It almost has like this bluish pearl, and as you keep as you depending on what angle you look at it at. It kind of shines a little bit different at any angle, which is really cool. A very high quality uh, pillar emblem there. Uh, the factory crown uh, rain guards are still intact. And in really good condition. Um, the, my previous crown uh, I could definitely tell this thing was kept inside because my previous crown this was fading quite a bit and had to be restored so this is very nice and it has a, a metallic flake in it as well and it matches with the black uh, cover here on the mirror very nice and these are power folding uh, mirrors as well, they do work. So really happy with this car. Um, it came in and really all I had to do was just detail it, uh, vacuum it. Um, going through the car, I could definitely tell it was a very good ownership history. Let's get a good shot of this rear end here. There's your rear license plate where it lights up. Those things are pretty expensive too. If you try to buy one aftermarket, uh, it's not cheap. I left the sticker on there. I think that's the uh, original dealer sticker. Usually I take off all the stickers, but I, I like those. And I also kept the uh, the Jaff sticker. So the owner had was a Jaff member. It's basically like the US version of AAA. 
So the uh, rear window here has like this, uh, on the inside, the, all these white lines right here kind of deters the sun a little bit. And it's like this plastic overlay on the back window. So it is a factory thing. As you can see, it has the crown on the plastic piece behind there. People like to take these things for some and uh, sell them on Yahoo auctions. Roof is in good condition. Again, rain guard. This is going to be quite a, a lengthy video because there is quite a bit to uh, go over. All the wheels are in good shape, no curb rash whatsoever. So, <clears throat> let me see. Am I missing anything on the outside? So the vehicle on this one, uh, it was equipped with the Thames suspension. Um, it works perfectly. A lot of times with these older Toyotas, uh, the suspension uh, starts to fail. This one does not have any signs of failing. Uh, even during the whole trip when I first went to pick it up, uh, it wasn't sagging or anything like that. So there's no signs of leaks or anything like that. Um, when you're driving the vehicle, um, you have different adjustments. There's high, there's normal, there's sport mode. So I have on my channel of doing a test drive of my previous one and when you reach 60 miles per hour or 55 miles per hour um, that's when the suspension lowers itself and this one does it as well everything is working as it should and it's a very good ride okay so let's check out the inside alright so Upon first look, when you first, what makes this one awesome is that this one was equipped with the uh, factory navigation slash TV slash compass and it also displays your radio stations and all that stuff. Uh, this is a, uh, let me get in here kind of go through all the tech this is a very tech heavy vehicle first let me show the door card um, let me see if I can get this sun off of it door card is in really good shape the fabric uh, does not have any excessive wear uh, all the buttons work very clean so let's get in here and let's start pushing all the buttons and I can show, okay, forward, back. Uh, there's your bolster control. Okay, back and forth. Okay, all right. Ugh. First, let's look at the key. As you can see there, that is a legit Toyota Crown key. Very nice quality. And as you saw when I took the, uh, key out or when I put it back in it's got memory steering it goes back to the original setting that is the uh, Japanese toll box she's telling me I think to put some money uh, in the box <laughs> all right so as you can see the digital dashboard which is really cool um, because you can hit this button here and you can have a different mode where you just have the uh, speedometer or if you want to display the uh, speedometer and the uh, oops sorry about that and if you want to see the RPMs Okay, and you can also change there's your trip options and if you want to change the way that you are 
I guess when it gets down low it shows you how many miles are left okay here's your suspension um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push this button here and then it goes into high and I'm not sure if the camera caught it or not but the uh, car is currently the compressor just kicked on and it's airing up so alright here's your kilometers 94863 okay this is your cruise control button so you turn it on and then you'll simply set push down to set and push up to resume I can't remember it's very uh, it's the same controls as the Lexus LS 400 uh, the only difference being you just have to turn it on with this button which I think is auto drive I would assume a slash D okay um, this right here pushes turns on your uh, fog lights come on camera okay camera does not want to focus on that alright so you push this in and uh, when you turn on your lights the screen will go to a night mode and I'm not sure if it's going to show up but on uh, cam on the camera you'll kind of see the lines the TV actually does not do that I guess that's just the way it records alright so you got your traction control there's your steering wheel controls okay this is the uh, radar detector which is obsolete Alright, what else is down here? Oh, my favorite, and uh, this is the best thing to have in Florida. We, In Florida, we call that the, uh, excuse my mouth, but we call that the ball warmer that blows, or the crotch warmer. It blows right between your legs, and in Florida, that is a wondrous thing, wonderful thing to have. All right, another thing with the air conditioning too is you have swing vents, and as you can see, they are going right now, just swinging away. So the one here, just this one and this one swings. So there she goes. Um, everything works in this car, which is uh, a bit surprising. Um, a lot of times with these very very old school tech heavy uh, cars you know stuff like these swing vents um, I have a Crown Majesta that's a 92 and my swing vents don't work anymore um, a lot of times the radio won't work anymore or whatever there's just you know this stuff is very dated and stops working so alright the TV alright pretty sure that Okay, so this is a very special uh, device right here. This was the very first uh, CD-ROM, um, I think it's a CTV screen to be ever to ever be put into a vehicle. So uh, the first touchscreen navigation. So there's your TV. Okay, put it on the. So there's your compass, and I'm going to just show how the, see there's, you see that it is touch screen, it does work. Let me go ahead and turn on the radio here. Okay. I know there's a, <laughs> excuse, alright, so here we go. So here's your radio controls, and you can control, um, going down here you can change the position so if you would like the speakers to favor the driver you can do that the passenger all right look it's got a line coming through see it doesn't do this on the screen when I'm looking at it it's just the way that it's showing up on the camera for some reason okay so or if you want to favor your rear passengers or everybody okay now if you want to turn up the volume you can hear the static. 
I probably should have grabbed a CD to kind of show, but it does work. Here's your AC controls. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and... I hope the uh, air is not messing up the speaker. So yeah, I mean, there's... You can sit here and play with this thing. You can do a Google Translate and go through all the buttons and figure out what they do. Uh, it actually has the remote that is included with it, which is uh, even my last one that I got um, did not come with it, and I looked for a replacement, and I just couldn't find one. So that's a, definitely a plus to have with the car, and it just shows good ownership, in my opinion. You know, the Jaff sticker, um, the dolly still being on the seat, the remote is still intact. Uh, the owner's manuals are still intact. All these little things add up and it just shows good ownership history. And my phone is ringing. Anyways, uh, so here is your ashtray. Doesn't look like it's ever used. Cigarette lighter, never used. So uh, it certainly feels like it's not a it's a non-smoker. All right, here's all your rear controls, and we'll get to that shortly. The the driver has the ability to uh, control the rear AC, or the rear passengers can do that. Um, this car does have rear reclining seats, and let's just say your passenger back there has the seats reclined. He gets out. Um, you can the driver can put the seats back to their upright position. By himself okay so here's the buttons sport mode high uh, you have the power uh, it doesn't really add any power it just uh, allows the transmission to uh, basically rev out all the way uh, instead of just shifting at a lower rpm it shifts at a higher rpm um, shift lever is in good condition okay There's your storage here. Okay, so headliner, excellent condition. And I'll have tons of photos of this thing in the uh, listing on my website. Um, basically, I just like to do this video. To, you know, people see the pictures and they're like, man, what's that button do? Or what's this button do? Uh, so here's your controls for your temperature position um, CD player tape deck um, which is something man this is 1989 you got the CD player you got the and the tape deck uh, so yeah I think that just about covers the here let me show the power folding mirrors here bam there you go Very nice. Okay, so you also have the controls here to control the front seat, so that way your rear passenger has all the leg room that he needs. All right, and on that note, I'm gonna go sit in that seat and showcase, go over the rear controls. Ah, up, just forgot, here's your trunk. I'll go ahead and hit that now. Uh, there is one small teeny tiny tear on the piping there, but that's it. Oh, and the, look at these, I love thick carpet, love going on long road trips and uh, taking my shoes off. Oh, let me go ahead and turn these uh, lights on. I'm just going to turn the fog lights on because the headlights aren't really that spectacular, but I'm a... I'm a big fan of the, the fogs. There you go. Hey, you see the license plate lights up? And those are a lot brighter at night, obviously. All right, stepping in, as you can see, tons of leg room. Door cards are all good throughout the vehicle. Uh, even these don't seem like they've ever been smoked in. So here's the uh, 
All right, here we go. Here is the rear reclining seat button. Okay, here we go. There you go. Very nice. And it does work on the other side as well. Uh, this side does recline the uh, so the the seat all the way to the all the way past the middle reclines, whereas that side is just the uh, the part that you sit on. All right. All right. So as you can see, there is tons of room. I'm five ten, and I can go ahead and move this seat up more way more wow all right so that's all the way up and I can uh, so it doesn't just turn into a bed obviously but it's it gives you enough to where you're back and you can definitely put your head back and get some rest all right so Here's the rear controls, and so now this has turned on. There's an air purification unit um, in this back deck, and it purifies the air. And just when I got back in here, the compressor turned on, and it's evening out the suspension. So, as you can see, I'm going to try and keep the light off of it. Alright, and a lot of times with these rear controls on these old cars, these will go out too. Uh, but it does work. Okay. Alright, gotta turn it. So it is turning on. Let me see if I can show it. Okay. On and off. Okay, now I turned it off. I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm not sure if you can see I'm turning on and off from back here. Okay. And then you can tune, program, you can turn up the volume. Let's see. Hey, okay. not sure if you can hear the static. So I'm gonna turn it all the way back down. Okay. So these do work, which is really awesome a lot of times these things don't work um, alright so uh, door card over there good there we go not really much here not like with the sentries they have all the phone and everything so back here is your little cool box so you could put a sandwich back there uh, you could put a soda back there and it will cool it so yeah and that's just about it very nice very good condition vehicle there's a trunk I literally have one more minute left on this video so I have to hurry um, let me close this up Big trunk, definitely fit a couple of golf bags in there. So there she is, 1989 Toyota Crown Royal Saloon. Everything works and is completely road ready. Ready, excuse me. Or if you just want this thing to just sit somewhere, um, it would just it would make a nice collection for anybody who is a uh, Crown enthusiast or a Crown collector. This is certainly um, a prime example of a, uh, a UZS-131. Um, no other crown on this trim beats this car right here. So if you have any questions, please just ask. Um, you can email me. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Uh, my website has all my contact information. There is financing available for these cars. Uh, for the people that know what these cars are, um, you know that this is uh, definitely a prime example. So please just call me if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to talk to you about it. So thanks for watching, 
and uh, tune in for more because we have more inventory being added. Thank you.